This week on Health Decoder. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, that's a little dramatic, but seriously, do you actually need eight hours of sleep? You've got a busy life, what with work, errands, and all that cruising J-date to find Junior a new mommy. While everyone's always going on about the recommended seven to nine hours a night, there are people out there like Bill Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, and Madonna who famously thrive on about four hours of shut-eye a night. So what's stopping you from joining the ranks of the hyperproductive? Cowardice? Lack of willpower? Nope, it's something you can't control. Genetics. Now before you set your alarm for 4 a.m. and start injecting that latte directly into your eyeballs, you should know that the people who really get by on that little sleep without the aid of naps, coffee, or clinched fistfuls of trucker amphetamines Meatball, 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 it's blind Dutchman hit note on 95, what's your 20? make up only 5% of the population. In a landmark study at the University of California, San Francisco, researchers identified a genetic mutation that is responsible for this trait. So, if you weren't born a short sleeper, don't expect to become one. But what will happen to the 95% of us who aren't sleep mutants if we attempt to tackle a four-hour sleep schedule anyway? The answer is awful, awful things. Skimping on your beauty sleep will leave you more than just looking ragged. In addition to having decreased short-term memory, alertness, and attention spans, researchers in Australia found that being awake for 18 hours produces the same impairment as having a blood alcohol concentration of 0.05%. After 24 hours awake, it's the equivalent of 0.1%. Drunk on sleep deprivation, not as nice as vodka. Put it in perspective, 0.08% is the legal limit in most states. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration conservatively estimates that at least 100,000 police-reported automobile crashes and 1,550 deaths each year are the result of driver fatigue. Other accidents caused by human fatigue? The Challenger explosion? the crash of the Exxon Valdez, the partial nuclear meltdown at Three Mile Island, and the full-on nuclear disaster at Chernobyl. Oh, you sleepy, sleepy Russians. I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting eyes. I was up very late at Blue Jeans American Dance Party. If that's not enough to scare you back into bed, there are health risks involved with sleep deprivation as well. Several studies have found that one or two consecutive nights of only four hours of sleep can trigger increased heart rate, blood pressure, and inflammation, as well as impaired glucose tolerance and increased appetite, even in otherwise healthy young adults. So even if you're young, burning the candle at both ends puts you at greater risk for heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and depression. Everyone's sleep needs are different. You really want to get ahead? Get the Z's you need, probably between seven and nine hours, and tackle the world fresh tomorrow. That's all for this week on Health Decoder. Be sure to subscribe for more Health Decoder episodes.